Hey guys, it's Celia from Celia's Tarot and this is just a lazy Sunday. I'm out with the kids. We're at the park and um, I was thinking I'm going to do this new spread called Single Mama Spread and that's what I am. I'm a single mama and it's all about your kids, the energy between you both, all of you, <clears throat> as many kids of you as you have. I, have. I had four, so I had one of each element. Capricorn, Sag, Libra, and Scorpio. So, Scorpio. So we're gonna start off, because me and my Scorpio guy, we're taking a nice walk together in the park and it's awesome. I said, okay, let's take this opportunity to go ahead and do a little video on how each one, each of my kids are, how they react to certain aspects of our individual signs and what they feel individually as their own sign. So this is Louis. Hello. He's a Scorpio. And look puppy, look how cute. Oh just the only one in here. Nice. Yeah, it's like a little solitary flower in the park. I will keep it in my pocket. Okay. So, okay, Mr. Scorpio, Mr. Lewis. Yes. How do you feel in being the youngest of four siblings and in uh, being the Scorpio, the water sign of all four? It's nice, it's nice. Do you feel more of a connection with a certain one? Which sibling? Natalie. So you feel a certain connection, a closer connection to the Capricorn? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the Capricorn, it figures because she's a Cancer moon, right? Mm -hmm. So Cancer and Scorpios, they have a very nice bond, water signs. <laughs> and mom, <laughs> mom, which is hiding behind the camera because I look ratchet, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, Cancer and Scorpio, we have a very nice connection. And me and my son have an amazing, ooh, there's bugs, a very close connection, understanding connection, <laughs> a nurturing connection, passionate towards a lot of things, a lot of uh, emotional aspects of ourselves and our sign. And we're very close. We understand each other in that way. So, how do you feel about you and mom having such a great connection? I actually, I feel very happy because that means we have a great bond and she understands me and I understand her. And we understand how we both feel. And we can know if we're mad, sad, happy, we're glad. <laughs> okay, that makes sense, and we respect each other's boundaries, right? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. And the thing is here, like, no matter what sign your child is, you can find... Wow, that was a good <laughs> swerve. He swerved a bug. You can find any kind of... Um, how can I say? <clears throat> Connection? Yeah, in regards to the connection, you can find any kind of uh, mid, midway, mid agreement, right? Like if let's say we're both talking about something and it's all age appropriate too, guys, remember. Your connection with your kids, spiritually, energetically, is extremely important. Look at that, they're ducks. Yeah. Are those ducks? Oh my God. That is so cool. Okay, I just interrupted the whole thing because <laughs> of some cute ducks. So, yeah, it depends. It's all age appropriate too. So my son is 10 right now, but he understands every aspect of our connection, our energies, how we connect. Oh my God, they're so cute, but I hope they don't attack. Look how pretty, guys. Up the ducks. So yeah, um, 
this is the great quality time with my Scorpio and the kids. We take a walk, we see nature. Look what a beautiful ogre. Okay. Um, spend some time together. Spending quality time with your kids, getting to know who they are. And if you're into signs and each individual energy, it's great to know more about them. They are, they're hiding. <laughs> they're being, our kids are behind us and hiding. They just went, Lewis. So it's important to know each of your kids individually, spend quality time with them. I'm a cancer mom, he's a Scorpio kid. <laughs> and, right there, zoom in, zoom in. I can't zoom in, this phone's S-U-C-K-S. Bubba, you can't. Okay, I guess my- Look, look, I see Celia. <laughs> Hi, guys! Bubba, I can hear you chewing. Okay, put it back. Oh my gosh. Okay, I put it back. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> all right. So this is just a quick little tidbit, guys, after I do the single mama spreads, or while, or before, or whatever. I'm gonna be uploading stuff, and it's about being a single mom, it's about loving it, it's about respecting yourself until your true soulmate comes in, it's about learning lessons along the way, about loving each individual thing about yourself, all right? About being a mom, and why this little human came to be. <laughs> He's so cute. You know what? You know what? What's your rising? <laughs> Leo. What's your sun? Scorpio, dude. And then what's your moon? Aquarius? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you can't hear me saying it. I'm going... <laughs> okay guys, signing off. Say bye Scorpio. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. Don't say bye Scorpio. Uh, 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 my Scorpio uh, king. Uh, I'm an only child of the... Wait, wait. You're not an only child? No, not an only child of... There's a... You got three, three siblings. Three, yeah. And then I'm the only boy. Sad. Uh, there they are. They're there the they other are. cuckoo heads. I'm gonna do an individual. <laughs> okay, Drax. <laughs> Signing off, guys. Bye from Scorp. Goodbye. <laughs>